So at first I was not uh, aware that it was a bomb. I had the, I had the idea that uh, an accident happened in a food corner or something like that. But uh, there was uh, immediately there was panic. So people were shouting and uh, running around. And uh, and so, uh, shortly after that, a second bomb, a second explosion was there, which was, in my eyes, much more powerful than the first one. Eh? which blew out the windows and uh, a lot of uh, smoke and there was some uh, panic. Uh, the, the ceiling was coming down, people were on the floor, people were injured. Yeah, it was quite a mess. Were you close enough to see or hear the attackers who police are, are saying were suicide bombers? No, because uh, the departure hall is on the, on the top floor and it happened, I think, two floors below, below us. And because where I was, it was because you had the, the staircase or the, or the way where you have the elevators. And that's why the top floor was, was injured uh, that heavily. That was one of the reasons why, I think. But we didn't saw anything of, uh, of the attackers. No, not at all. We understand at least 13 people were killed at the airport this morning. Uh, can you yeah, tell can... us the scene of what you saw after the explosions? Yeah, I can believe that because on the floor where I was, a lot of people were, uh, were on the floor. They were injured, so it was quite, uh, quite a heavy, a heavy, a heavy bombing. Yeah. And and how was it, Jeff, that you were not injured when you were in an area of so much carnage? I think I was lucky. I, I was very lucky. I think I have a guardian angel somewhere, so I was very lucky. And how quickly did you figure out that it was a terror attack? Oh, I, no, I, you cannot believe it. Eh? You cannot believe it. It was so. It was so insane. You, you think it's not not in my backyard? Uh, I travel so much, so I never had the feeling to be in an unsafe uh, area. But now it was quite scary. Yeah.